Hey guys, so welcome to the next episode of the Road to Completion Escape. In the future of all the episodes upcoming of the Road to Completion Escape, I'm just going to show my poorest progress in the first part of the video because I've been requested to actually show that in some kind of series. And uh, Port's progress is technically a Road to the Trimmed Completion Escape, even though I'm never going to get the trimmed. But uh, regardless, um, my resources, you might see I have hardly any plate left, and I'll get to that in a second. But um, under the, my port management, I have achieved, I have full sea singers, all unlocked in the scrolls, and Tetsu unlocked in scrolls. And uh, that's pretty cool. So you might be saying, you know, why do you have no plate? And that's because if I go to my inventory, I actually made a superior Tetsu body. So, yeah, it looks pretty beastly. Um, it's decent. I've tried it out in Nex so far, and uh, it, it was okay. It wasn't great. I wasn't too impressed with it. But, um, yeah, I have that, so I still need 95 more plate for the full Superior Tetsu, and I'll just work towards that. I hardly get any plate missions, so it's going to take quite a while. But anyway, that's about it for my port's progress, other than completing the Sea Singer's set of scrolls and getting the Tetsu body. Not a whole lot else has happened. And so we are now at the, uh, the Completionist Cape at the top of the Barak Museum, because it's time to check what requirements I have left. So I will admit that I did complete a few of the smaller requirements, and you'll find out exactly what those are in, it, in the video clips later on in this video. But I just want to check this to see what I have left. I pretty much have Livid Farm left and Dungeoneering, obviously. Um, although I am getting fairly close to a Dungeoneering level, and I have gotten one Dungeoneering level since the last episode. So if we just go to here, um, I still need to get all the spells from Lewood Farm. I still need 120 Dungeoneering. I still need Bones to Peaches. Um, get out of here, man. And I still need to hunt the Thalassus. I need to complete all the Fremnic Sagas. I need two more pieces of music, one from Dungeoneering and one from Virago. Um, I still need to complete the What's Mine is Yours tasks, and I need to do Charm Sprites. So there are a few things on that list that have well, I have a few things that I have completed on the list since last episode, and I'll get into the clips quickly and show you exactly what those are. But um, looking at this, I still have all that livid farm to do, and I still have 120 dungeoneering. So we'll just go to my stats page really quickly, and uh, I am 654,000 XP off of 111 dungeoneering. That will only take about a couple hours, because uh, even on World 77, you can get 600k XP in two hours quite easily. Um, but unfortunately, I've just been really busy in real life today, and as soon as I'm done making this video, I have to uh, go s do some things in real life as well. So I wanted to get um, this level and have it for the video, but it, unfortunately, it's going to have to wait till next video. But of course, I will unlock uh, another Dungeoneering floor by getting 111, so I'm pretty excited about that. But anyways, I'm going to get into the clips now and show you guys what all I have achieved for the Completion Escape this week. So now it's time to check my, up on my progress. Uh, the first one was 110 DG. I just barely got to record that one because I kind of ended the floor and then I thought, oh, wait, I'm getting to level this floor. And I was like, crap. And so I quickly pressed the record button and I managed to record it. But anyway, that was 110 DG, so I was pretty jacked about that um, because that means I can finally uh, get in those parties because it seems like every time someone tries to host a floor in uh, World 77 they always say you have to be 110 DG to join this floor and that's really annoying but um, I also had to kill the cave wolf matriarch because apparently that's a uh, completion escape requirement and it took like 50 seconds but it was really easy I heard that before the evolution of combat this was actually a fairly difficult fight or something like that but um, anyway, you just kill that. Unfortunately, you can only kill it once because the reward you get for killing it is like worth 250k or something like that. It wasn't bad. Um, but yeah, you just collect those blue dragon scales and they sold for like a k each or something like that. So um, that was pretty nice. And then I laid Clarence the Mage to rest. Uh, all you had to do was kill a whole bunch of ants and bugs and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of um, weird kind of animal creatures in the forest around Karamja and you had to kill a bunch of them, and they dropped body parts, which was a bit disconcerting. But anyway, you brought those body parts back to the Mages Guild, and um, you turned them in for death runes. And I believe some blood runes as well. Something like that. It was some kind of rune. And uh, then they did a burial ceremony, and I could, completed it for the Completionist Cape, which is all that I was after there. Um, so that didn't take too long, and I made, like, what... 89k off of that. That wasn't bad. And the last thing that I did was I buried the Goblin Priest. And a friend of mine said that this would be really hard, but apparently it wasn't. So uh, you just had to punch a whole bunch of Goblins to death. You couldn't wear any armor or weapons or anything like that. 
Um, it was a bit confusing because I didn't know you actually needed a uh, ring of visibility to start the mini quest, so I went in there without a ring of visibility and nothing happened. So I had to Google it and all, and then I came back with a ring of visibility and got it correctly. And you just bury the bones and you get a better prayer XP. It wasn't really all that exciting. It's more just for the completion of cape requirement and all that. Um, and that was ticked off as well. So just to finish off the video, um, we're going to go over the Completionist Cape checklist. So not a whole lot has changed here for the most part, because I did not do any Livid Farm spells, and I really should, but um, I don't know. I've just been doing so much Slayer, and when I'm not doing Slayer, pretty much just PVM or Dungeoneering, that I haven't really done any Livid Farm. Obviously, Livid Farm is very time-consuming, and I've just been putting my time towards Slayer and Dungeoneering for the most part, so that's why I haven't done Livid Farm. But uh, pretty much the only things that have changed are um, a, compl a couple of requirements here, like the claim to reward from Klaus, I did that. Um, the laid clarence to the mage to rest, I did that, and buried the goblin pr priest of Ubiusk. Not ha not completely sure how to pronounce that, but I did that as well. Um, that's about all I've done, as well as the dungeoneering level. But uh, and I should be getting another dungeoneering level very soon. Uh, I most likely will actually be getting that level tonight. So within a couple hours of making this video, but um, I didn't want to upload the video super late, so that's why I did not uh, go ahead and get that level tonight. But uh, anyway, we're going to look at the trimmed requirements here as well. So um, these haven't changed much. I just corrected a couple things on here that were incorrect. Like um, I think the number of fish flingers medals that I had was not correct. The number of barbarian notes I had, I, I think I had 11 on there. I only have 10. That wasn't correct. Um, and the circus. I think I had one of these circus clothing checked that I didn't actually have the complete set of. Um, but anyway, other than that, I, of course, haven't done anything for the uh, trimmed completionist cape, except for I did one court case. Um, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Mischism versus Drainer Village. I did that one, and I have another one that's in my bank, and I can't do it yet because I still have to wait like six more days because uh, once you complete the first five court cases, every court case from then on, you have to wait 14 days before you can do it. So that really sucks. But anyway, I have the next court case waiting in my bank, ready to go be completed, but I have to wait like six more days. So um, that's a bit unfortunate. But that's all I've done towards the trimmed cape. Probably will never get that trimmed cape, but uh, I like to do requirements anyway, uh, just to keep my options open and all that. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Do subscribe if you're interested, and stay tuned towards the next episode, which probably won't come for a little while because it takes forever to get any kind of progress done on the completion escape because everything takes so long. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching. Farewell.